Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get drum tracks down in your songs very quickly, very easily, using ToonTrack's Superior Drummer 3. Now, Easy Drummer 2 by ToonTrack is a very, very good drum library. It's a little bit limited. Obviously, we've got the grooves section that we have in both Easy Drummer 2 and Superior Drummer 3, but it doesn't really go any further than this and the Tap to Find feature, but Superior Drummer 3 has quite a few nice features that uh, help get drums sounding really, really nice in your songs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a handful of these features in Superior Drummer 3 to get your drums sounding pucker. So, let's talk about the song very quickly. It was recorded to a click track, BPM 115. It's a nice laid back folk song. And I think all it needs is kind of like a snare kick shuffle. Snake in the valley. Ta -ta 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 -ta. We'll find that in a minute. Let's see what Superior Drummer 3 can do for us. So, song starts at bar 3 in Pro Tools. Can uh, set Superior Drummer 3 to follow host. You can see meter and tempo match 115. So that's all set. Let's move across to the grooves menu. We could just go through and audition. <laughs> All these MIDI loops, but we'd be here all day trying to find something that matches. So this is where Tap to Find comes in very useful. Also, we have this in Easy Drummer 2. And what it's going to do is play around a click and we can use either our mouse clicking on the graphics to put in like a rough guide, kick and snare. Or we can use a MIDI controller. That's what I'm going to be using now to tap in a groove we'd like. And then it will search its MIDI loop library and give us some results that should hopefully match or be very close to. So let's give this a go. First things first, quantize, gonna put this on triplets. Right, show results. At the top here, matching, we've got some fills. Might not need them straight away. I'm looking more for grooves. A little bit too straight. Ooh. That might work. Let's drag this down to beginning of bar three and see if it fits. Nice, that works quite well. Now, at this point, you've got a choice. You can either drag this MIDI out and you can just drop it on instrument track, MIDI track and Pro Tools or your DAW and uh, do your editing here. But I wouldn't recommend it. Superior Drummer 3 is much better. You'll find out in a minute. Let's just delete that clip and double click on this block here in the Superior Drummer 3 track. Now, this gives us a few options. Edit player style. Right here, we've got amount and velocity. If we're on the snare drum, for instance, and we increase the amount, the clever software will play sort of more ghost notes, a more exciting rhythm based on what that loop has, or you can back it off and it will play back a lot more. And we've got velocity below this, you know, it'd be like telling the drummer, hit that snare drum harder or softer. So let's see what we can do with these two controls with our loop. Kick drum first, let's bring down the velocity. Well, I'm a snake in the valley well, I'm a bird in the sky Much better well, I'm a cat and on the, the snare alley. Okay, that's quite nice, but the groove is still a little bit boring I think it needs something extra in there Now we've got the hi-hat here And let's increase the amounts and see if that can add anything That's nice. Bring the velocity well, down. Snake in the valley. Well, I'm a bird in the sky. That's well, nice. I'm a That's cat. nice. Let's work with this, but let's take it a bit further. So let's go up to the grid editor, and it's all pretty self-explanatory here. So we've got the different drum hits down the side here: kick, snare, hi hat. Then notes on the grid, velocity below this and some useful tools at the top here. Swing, we all know what swing is, and uh, randomize, I do like this very much. So let's highlight all the notes in this performance, and we can randomize this just to give it a little bit more of a human feel, because it just still feels a little bit rigid. Well, 
Well, I'm a snake in the valley. Much better. Much better. It sort of feels like there should be a little break just before the vocals come in. Let's put that in. Here. Well, I'm a snake in the valley. Keep that little run in. Highlight, right click, cut notes. Well, I'm a snake in the valley. Much better. Sort of feels like there could be an open hi-hat on this moment. Now we can do that underneath these little arrows here. We can expand each hit to get all the articulations, which is really nice. You can't do this that easily in, let's say, the Pro Tools MIDI editor. All the notes are all over the place, but Superior Drummer 3, all the articulations for whatever hit you're working on is in one place, which is really, really nice. So I'm just going to take a note, Alt-click to make a copy. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. Let's hear how that sounds. Well, I'm a snake in the valley. I like that. Much better. So let's say we're finished with editing this loop. We might want to repeat it for the verse. Got an intro going on there. Use the scissors to break this up. I'm going to go for bar seven because that's when the verse starts. I can alt drag to make copies. If I want to make my life a little bit easier when I'm navigating this, I can change the color of these by highlighting it by clicking once, click block, song part, so I can go intro, that's going to be gray, blue is already verse. Let's have a little listen. Well, I'm a snake in the valley. Anyway, hope you guys got something from this. For more information on Toon Tracks Superior Drummer 3 drum library, do check out the Toon Track website. I'm Dan from Production Expert. And I'll see you again soon.